Woo. What's up, breathing people? Welcome back to another Daily Breaths. It is good to not see your face, but you can see mine. Uh, we're gonna be uh, starting with 30 seconds of silence. Set timer for 30 seconds. You do this just to, for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, counting down. So hard, Siri. All right, let's take 30 seconds just to be silent, to be still, just to know that God is God and we're not. Oh. All right, thank you for doing that with me. All right, we're gonna get back into this devotional. Uh, we're gonna be reading out of Matthew 9, verses 10 through 13. It says, while Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came, to, came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Thanks be to God. On our passage, or our passage indicates that Matthew's tax collector and sinner friends experienced Jesus as loving and safe, even though they had views and lifestyle and a lifestyle diametrically opposed to his. How can we have a similar effect on people with whom we differ? Three questions offered by uh, David Benner in his book, Soulfully Spiritu Soulful Spirituality, have been helpful to me in thinking about this question. One, am I fully present or distracted? Two, am I loving or judging? Three, am I open or closed to being changed? Ooh. All right, this is going to be a longer video. Stick with me if you want to uh, dig some of this stuff out. So question one, am I fully present or distracted? Our ability to have face-to-face -face conversations with eye contact, as well as our ability to connect emotionally, has decreased dramatically over the last 25 years. I am no different. It is not unusual for me to have three or four ideas floating around in my brain at the same time and to miss whatever and whomever is right in front of me. So while I have grown a great deal in this area, it remains critical that I ask myself the first question, am I fully present or distracted before I even enter a conversation? That's me, I'm exactly that same way. Question two, am I loving or judging? When people outside of the church describe Christians, one of the first words they use is, you probably already guessed it, judgmental. Uh, they are not wrong to do so. Too often, we turn our differences into virtues of moral superiority. And in doing, we create never-ending ways to subtle, subtly categorize people and diminish their humanity. It is not part of our mission to judge people, even in the names of standing up for truth. When we judge, we treat people as objects. Only God, with a knowledge infinitely greater than ours, has the right and the wisdom to judge another person. All right, third and final question. Am I open or closed to being changed? Ooh, I can tell this one's gonna be tough already. This question is a deal breaker for many, mm -hmm. especially if the other person is not a Christian. Pete, are you saying we have to be willing to let go of what God says is true? No. I'm saying that we are called to love and be present with people like Jesus, without conditions. If we are open to learn or to be enriched by the conversation, then we're not actually in a genuine conversation. If we're not open to learn or to be enriched by the conversation, then we are not actually in a genuine conversation. Wow. We're in a one-sided monologue. Whew. God calls us to be with and to love people who see the world differently than we do. And we can do so without compromising our faith in Jesus. We begin as humble learners in a posture of openness and curiosity, asking, tell me more. 
helped me understand how you see the world and came to that decision or conclusion. Mm. All right, so the question to consider out of all of the things that we have considered is whose beauty in those around you might you be bypassing because you are distracted, judgmental, or closed? Mm. Good stuff. All right, that was a bit longer than usual. I will see you on the next Daily Breast. I love you all. Goodbye.